Hey guys, who wants some yummy apple crisp? I do! Okay, so I checked on the internet and I looked at some recipes and I just kind of am gonna make up my own deal here with the apple crisp because there's a lot of ingredients that go into this. I didn't realize how many ingredients that I'm gonna need. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need for this sandy inspired apple crisp recipe. Let's get started. So the ingredients we're gonna need are six medium apples, lemon juice, you can use real lemon juice if you want, sugar, coconut oil, um, cinnamon, cornstarch, oatmeal, whole wheat flour, sea salt, brown sugar, and some vegan butter. So let's get started. So I don't know if you all make your apple crisp with the skin on the apples, what kind of apples you use, but we're just gonna go with what we have today. And I'm gonna peel them just because I feel like I should peel them. I don't like peeling fruit, I don't like peeling vegetables, but I'm gonna peel them. So I won't bore you with all the peeling, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna peel these and I'll be right back. Okay, not gonna lie, that was a little bit time consuming. <laughs> so you know what would have been great is one of those like apple peel core things. Those would have been great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just cut the apple up into chunks. Um, yeah, I think chunks. And I'm gonna put them in this large bowl and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Hey there, done chopping. Okay, so this is the six medium apples cut into chunks, um, which again was time consuming. So this is gonna be the apple crisp filling. So we are going to add to this um, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of regular sugar. This is the uh, low fat version. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, three quarter cups, or three, <laughs> three quarter cups, that'd be a lot. Three quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. That's where, three quarter teaspoons? Do I even have a three quarter? You know what? I don't think I do. Three quarter teaspoon. Oh well, you know what? How about just one teaspoon? Is that okay? I don't know. <laughs> Three quarter teaspoon, I don't know. Okay, we'll just kind of wing it on this. Mm, yeah, okay. If it's a little bit too cinnamon cinnamony, well, you know, that's life, right? Um, two tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it up a little bit. You can tell that baking is not my forte. Not that cooking is either, but seriously baking, I can probably count on both hands how many times I've baked. I don't really bake. I made an apple pie once and yeah, big times. Okay, um, and you gotta see my kitchen. It's a complete disaster right now. Okay, so we did that, the two tablespoons of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon, or no, again, a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. Well, that's basically like almost nothing, right? So let's just, that's probably good. Okay, and then the lemon juice, five teaspoons of lemon juice. And like I said, you could probably use real lemon, um, but I was like, this will be a lot quicker. Five. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is grab a spoon and I'm gonna stir this all together and get all the apples coated with the sugar and the cinnamon and all that yummy goodness. Actually, it looks really, really good. I mean, apples and cinnamon always smell so good too, right? And then after this, we are gonna make the topping. So we'll just stir this all together and then let's get started on the topping. Yay! Okay, so now I'm gonna make the topping and um, what I'm gonna be using is three quarter cups of brown sugar, kind of a lot, and a half a cup of whole wheat flour. I'm sure you could probably use any old flour, but I'm gonna try whole wheat. Why not? Let's give it a try, right? Uh, three quarter cup of rolled oats. Uh, 
a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Again, where'd that salt go? <laughs> Don't know where the salt went. Um, I will add that momentarily. Uh, two tablespoons of coconut oil melted. So now what I just do is I just put it in a bowl and I melt it in my microwave for probably 20 to 30 seconds. And also a third of a cup of vegan butter melted. So I melted the oil and the vegan butter together. I hope that that's okay. I don't know where the heck the salt went. Oh, there it is. Okay. Because that's going to make all the difference, I'm sure. Okay, uh, let's stir this together. Um, if you can see that, just it's going to be a nice, sweet, crumbly topping. I am super excited to eat this actually. And in my spare time, <laughs> when I put it in the oven, I'm going to make some vegan ice cream to go with it because I thought, what's the apple crust without the ice cream? So you want it to just look like that. Okay, now we are going to put this concoction together. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm taking this pan and I am going to just put the apple mixture into the pan. I don't know if this is the right size pan. I It says 9 by 11. I think this looks like... I don't even know what it looks like, but it's going to have to do for right now. Um, I mean, who cares really, right? Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, so there, we just put the apples on like that. Now we're going to take the topping and we are going to try to spread it out as evenly as I can. I'm not like really going to like spread it. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it, I think, you know? I don't know. I think I need to spread it. I'll show you what it looks like so far. Let's take a peek, shall we? Mm-hmm. It's going to be good, people. It's going to be good. So what I've done also is I have preheated my oven for 350. And how long am I cooking this for? 55 to 60 minutes or until the apples are bubbly and the top starts to brown. So that's a while. So while that's cooking, like I said, I'm going to make some delicious vegan ice cream and that can go with this. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Cause you know what? I haven't even eaten yet today and I'm starving. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, it's like 20 after one, kind of hungry. All right. So I think this is spread as evenly, sorry, as it's gonna get. There's the finished product. So as soon as my Oven's heated. I'm going to pop this in for 55 to 60 minutes and we're going to see how it. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. 10 more minutes. Okay, so I just took it out of the oven and I ended up baking it for 55 minutes, which I think was perfect. It looks really good, all like browned and caramelized on the top. So I'm going to let it cool for 15 to 20 minutes, even though I'm dying to try it right the second. And then I'm going to put it with the vegan ice cream that I made. And I think it's going to be perfection. So stay tuned. How good does this look? Seriously, I can't wait. Okay, I can't wait to try this. Now, I didn't wait long enough on the ice cream because it's still a little bit soft. But I really don't care <laughs> because I just wanted to try it. So I'm going to let you guys know what I think. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good, honestly. So this wasn't too hard to make and I think it tastes delicious. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this little video on the apple crisp and I hope you all try it at home. Mwah.